Um, when it comes to issues of life and jobs and things like that, where to live, sometimes it doesn't matter and sometimes it does, depending on where uh, your destiny leads you. Um, in this situation, um, a job is a job. Um, sometimes God doesn't really mind what sort of job we have, so long as it uh, enables us to do what he wants us to do. Um, our relationship with God obviously is what leads to everything else. So if you're working so many hours, you can't find the time to give that priority, that relationship, then obviously there's a question there to ask. There's nothing wrong in working 56 hours or 50 to 60 hours a week in that you've also got a whole load more hours of the week to other things. It's what you choose to do with them. Um, our relationship with God um, is is what is, as you say, is going to lead us to everything else. So within the concept of time, yeah, time serves us. It's time's not against us. And our mindset towards time is probably the key to it. How do we view time? Do we see it as running away, not having enough of it? I'm too busy. All of those things can be mindset issues. But if our mindset changes and we begin to choose realities around us that aren't affected by time, um, then within the 50, 60 hours a week you're doing, god is with you in it you know you can you can still when you're not actually selling something to anyone all the time you can still engage you can still engage your spirit you can be engaged face to face heart to heart with the father anytime even if you're actually working because we can do it in the realm of the spirit not just always in the cognitive realm so don't think just because you've got 56 the hours of week of work that that work cannot be productive in a spiritual sense while you're at work. Uh, and of course, you only have to do what you see the father doing. So you don't feel under any obligation to do anything other than what the father's leading you to. Now, I think it's interesting when you say that there's a reawakening and a joy and talent for art and design. That is more aligned to being made in the likeness and image of God in a creative sense of sonship. And as you've been pursuing God for sonship, maybe that is what has been awakening. Again, I would ask that you would, you know, encourage you to go back to the Father with it and actually say, okay, give me insight and wisdom into how I can pursue this. And you might have to, in a sense, start to pursue something before you finish something else. You know, you can make the preparation for pursuing something within art and design before you give up your job in car salesman being a car salesman so in some senses it's all about how the father leads you rather than there being a right or wrong answer to it flow, follow the flow of the spirit follow what you feel you're being led to but don't necessarily jump out of one thing before you can get into something else you know um so i would encourage you in that whole whole thing to really focus on uh, engaging um, intimacy first and seeing where that flow leads you um, and go, going with that. Um, and I would say um, the creative side of you, if that is what's being awakened, I would encourage you in that um, to go with that but don't think you have to jump into it, see where it leads you and see where that opens up. And definitely sonship and relationship will open up a creative side of us without a doubt. And, and that might be something that brings you more fulfillment, but actually at the moment you need to maybe need the finances and that's okay. There are seasons and times in our life where we do do, do things differently. So, you know, don't be stressed over it. That's for sure. Rest where you are and then see where the Father leads you. That would be my encouragement. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.